we know that we can objectify anything that's going on using the noting technique, but we have to access all the places in the mind. You have to concentrate in order to access the interior of the cone, and you have to concentrate in order to access the higher parts of the cone. Because notice, at the tip of the cone, there's less and less, toward the tip of the cone, there's less and less distance between the outside and the inside. And at the tip of the cone, there is no distance, which means you have to be very, very concentrated to get there at all. And you can't objectify something you can't access. So concentration becomes relevant. So in two minutes, I'd like to give you an exercise to cultivate the kind of concentration you're going to need to access all the parts of your mind. Get out a cereal bowl with a um, th that's colored pastel or earth tones, prop it up against the wall or on a chair opposite you if you sit on the, on the couch as I do, and look at it. Put it about six feet away. Stare at it until your mind gathers in that place, and it will. And that is, that's what it means to be concentrated. The, the mind gathers in one place, stops running off in all directions like a bunch of chickens, um, and the, the chicken analogy works here because imagine if you have a hundred chickens, how much power they would have if you could get them all to pull in the same direction. But chickens don't like to do that. They like to scatter in all directions. Uh -huh. If you want them to pull in one direction, you can. Stare at that bowl until they do. And then let's check again back uh, in a week, and you can tell me what happens when you stare at the bowl.